Welcome back to Weekend Edition. Starting tonight, we are launching our new weekly Guam Crime Stoppers Report in partnership with the organization and the Guam Police Department. Please welcome to our studios the new Guam Crime Stoppers Coordinators, Officer Paul Tapal. Good to have you with us this evening. Afre, ma'am. Thank you for having me with you. You know, aside from these weekly reports that you're going to be doing for us uh, every weekend, you actually do a lot of work during yes. the week. Tell us about some of the outreach that you do. Well, <clears throat> We are uh, the Guam Stoppers, um, as the Guam Stoppers coordinator, we are actually working with um, GDOE uh -huh. and the, um, the new program that was introduced by Senator Eileen Yamashita, which mm -hmm. was Bill 31-100. Mm -hmm. It's the Safe School program. And with that program, we put together, or GDOE had put together a, uh, the School Guam uh, Stoppers program. Mm -hmm. So we worked together with um, the SROs, with the local high right. schools, um, the designated school crime stoppers coordinator, or the safety coordinators within a particular school. Mm -hmm. We do outreach about empowering the kids to do the right thing and reporting a crime and standing up for the, you know, for what they believe in is right. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to send that message out to the kids and to the parents of the kids of the uh, schools. What has been, I guess, the most difficult um, um, thing about what you're doing? Just the outreach. Mm -hmm. Um, we're trying, as a coordinator, you know, um, I'm picking up where the other coordinators had left off. So outreach has always been a, a major issue. So with the help of the media, of course, you're, you know, with KOM and everybody else, we're actually trying to get the outreach back, bridging that gap between the community and the Guam Crime Stoppers and, of course, the agency of like the Guam Police Department. Mm -hmm. well, so that's one of the challenges we face. Well, we're certainly glad to be a partner with Yeah, the thank you crime for having stoppers. us. Uh, tell us about uh, this week's uh, Crime of the Week report. Okay, well, this week's Crime uh, crime of the Week is, of course, a uh, burglary that occurred within the village of Jigo. It was on November 12th at around 6.36 p.m. The Guam Police Department's Denado Precinct Command responded to a burglary complaint that occurred at 305 Chalan Emsley in Jigo. According to the victims, they left their home just after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Before leaving, they secured their house, but when they returned shortly after 6 o'clock that night, that's when they discovered their home had been burglarized. Several items were stolen from inside. Among the items that were taken, miscellaneous electronic items, a laptop, a flat screen television, jewelry, and cash. The estimated value of all the stolen items was over $8,400. The Guam Police Department's Criminal Investigation Section is asking your help in tracking down a possible suspect in this case. Take a close look. Police are looking for this man, 33-year-old Eric Imidu Fortes. He's Chamorro, stands 5 foot 5 inches, and weighs about 130 pounds. He's believed to be living at 169 Dolores Street in Dededo. Fortes is wanted for questioning relative to this particular burglary. If you have any information as to his whereabouts, you are asked to please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. Or you can text 688-STOP. You can also visit guam.crimestoppersweb.com. Guam Crime Stoppers does not use caller ID, and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 for information leading to the arrest or conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. Thanks for that. You know, there seems to be a lot of burglaries that have been occurring around the island. Are there any tips uh, that you can give to our viewers? Yes. Um, be vigilant. You know, take the part first at your home. Take the part by, you know, informing your family members of what to do. Always locking your, you know, your doors, your windows before you leave. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Get to know your neighbor. Exactly. In Guam, where we have a lot of family uh, members, if you're lucky enough to stay in an area where you have family surrounding, you know, but if you don't, go outside and know your neighbor. Mm -hmm. You know, know their time frame. Have them know your time frame. You know, be familiar with the time frames that you both leave work or school and come back. You know, get to know your neighbors. And one, own your village. Be that, that villager that says, you know, I've had enough of this. You know, I'm going to do the positive thing, and I'm just going to be out there, and I'm going to be nosy and find out what are you doing here and everything. That's one of the approach, but, you know, you can do it different ways, but we always recommend that you start at home first. Secure your home. Make sure your home is secured before anything else. And, of course, outreach to your community. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much we'll for having us. We'll see you next week.
Thank you. Now